Uh, so first I would just say we need, I also voted for that measure, right? We need resources for our community on a broad scale. We need to look at our streets on a broad scale. We need um, to think deeply about what our neighborhood needs. Um, and again, that's a conversation that includes everyone. Um, what we also need is transparent and accountable leadership so that when decisions are made, it's very clear where that money is going and how it is being spent. And it's very clear that it's coming from, from us, right? Like from the people in this room, from the people in the neighborhood. Um, so absolutely, and, that, and that's not just a question about this issue, right? I think that's across the board um, in, in a variety of ways, right? Like we need to open up our processes to be transparent and accountable. Let's go to Raymond Berducci. Thank you. Um, I have to admit, I actually agree with Rachel quite a bit. We do need transparency and accountability with the uh, way we look at what our community needs. And I really do appreciate nights like this where we can all come together and voice our opinions. So that's, that's what I believe we would need more of. We need accountable leadership and we need people that are going to hold them accountable, our elected officials. And we need to see exactly where the money's going. Thank you. Les Pat. You know, there's been areas in our city that has been left neglected. And one of the things I think maybe the heart of the question is, do we divide up the pot by ward? And I think what we really need to do is to, to not divide that pot up by ward. I think we need to say, we need to look at our city and say, what areas need more help? If it stays divided up, my solution is, is that we form neighborhood committees and that I don't make the decision about what streets get fixed or what sidewalks get fixed, but that you make those decisions. And my plan would be that we go around neighborhood by neighborhood and we would mark these streets down and the sidewalks down and that we would do it based on our, our particular areas in Ward 13 if it stayed in you know, separate pots. But I would like the city to be able to say, yes, we're going to allocate money, but we, we've got to take care of all the neighborhoods. And we just can't section off certain areas for the neighborhoods. I know that might be you know, heresy coming to a Ward 13 committee, but we've got to pull together as a community, as one city, because we are all united. And that's the way we need to stand. We need to work together. Thank you. And city council. Your city council person is the closest person to the, your community and local government. As Councilman Principe can attest to, they're the person that hears what's broken, what trash cans need to be made, where lights need to be improved, where, where, what school auditorium needs a new curtain, what, where the seats are broken. The neighborhood infrastructure money is a line item in the budget. It's $100,000 that council people can spend to work on infrastructure only projects. So that's not something that can go into service projects or into somebody's organization. These are bricks and mortar, important things that need to be done quickly. So I actually support the neighborhood infrastructure money. I think that Councilman Principe has done an excellent job. If you look at trash cans that are up and down the street, if you look at lighting improvements, if you look at improvements in our parks, I think there are things that we that come out of the city budget that aren't allocated towards the neighborhoods specifically, and we do need money that goes directly into the neighborhoods. And as your council person, getting that feedback, you get to make those decisions. So I do believe that the public does have a role in that process, and if I were your council person, I would like to formalize that role and make that process more transparent. Thank you.